Alright, so the people ask a question and lungs, let me do a lungs question. This is 2016, last part of question one at C. Given that T is equal to K P to the power of A to a C, make C the subject of the formula. So to make this the subject of the formula, best thing to do, use lungs. Look why I don't know fancy algebra. Alright, so this is quest this question is beautiful because it You'll have to use some log rules here. Log of a by b is equal to log of a plus b. Log of a plus log of b. Log of a over b is equal to log of um, a take away log of b. And log of a to the power of n is equal to n log of a. So some exciting rules we're gonna get to use here just to solve this question. So let's see, keep in mind these rules, right? Let's see how this goes. First thing we're gonna do, that's the formula. Take logs. Right, so anytime you're right taking logs, you should feel good about yourself. You're about to do something marvelous. So you take logs on both sides, put that in a big bracket there. And this is k multiplied by p to the power of h and c. So this is a multiplication taking place here. Bam! Hit them with that rule. Anytime you're multiplying, you can split up. It's multiplying, split it into two. So that's log of k plus log of p to the power of h and c. Good, you're going good. Bring across this. Because we really want the C, right? The C is the important thing. So we want the C. So bring across anything that is not C now. So this comes across. What next? What next? You see in this on top here? Let's get that down there. How are we going to do that? Hit them with that rule. Anything on top, we can bring it down once it's a log. And says a log in front of the, um, the base, right? So next line is going to be looking like this. Same thing on the left hand side, the right hand side. This is going to come down. Nice. And now we could get rid of this log of p because he has no c in it. So get him onto the next side, bring it across. So we just have h and c, we nearly finished. All we need to do is just invert, right? So if we flip these two sides, if we flip this side, we need to flip this side. So that's basically the all I've went on here. Should be able to catch that. <coughs> and we're wrongs enough to the answer now. So we, we just about flipped. Um, you know we are custom reading from uh, left hand side to right hand side so I just switch them around so sometime in your life you can switch around this equation right so now look like a good time to switch it and bring across the h h is being divided on this side to get him onto this side you need to multiply both sides by h right form two things and bring across that h there so h log p log t right. we, we are about finished here but let's make this look kind of neat and bring back up the h and since this is log of t, take away log of k, we can actually let this look like this. So you see how the h come back up here since this is log, we use log this rule. Just in reverse. And we're going to use back this rule. Just in reverse. Answer. So that's the first part. Do that. Collect your marks. Move along with your life. This is going to be the second part. So have log of x plus 1 plus log of x minus 1 equal to so solve this this means solve when you have solve you need to actually get a value for the variable which is x right so first thing you're going to do this is the second part right bam you're coming back with the same rules log of a plus b that's that you can bring that down into a multiply why am i doing that because i want to just get log one time on both sides when i get that one time on both sides i can use this trick removing logs so last time we was taking logs now we're removing logs so i can just remove the log and now i end up with x is alone which is fantastic right so x is alone I, this is just algebra i can be i can just turn off the video now right so x plus one multiply all these two you get that's the difference of two squares so you can just automatically write that and this is a perfect square here multiply all that you get this saw this recently anyhow so since we have x squares on both sides, we can cancel, leave that out, and we just end up with this. Bring across the 4, bring across this 4, which is being multiplied, and end up with this. Now there's a little technicality here. This is a negative answer. If you substitute a negative answer for x into this equation, you will then have to find the log of a negative number. And if you put in a calculator, you will end up with a problem. So, this I don't know what you're trying to pull here, but this is not, um, you can make a note of this if you're feeling paranoid in the exam. 
there's no real solutions to this but you need to actually do this to get your map right but in the end you're right there are no real solutions okay and that's the end of the last question